We've been talking about the classified balance sheet. It's now time to look at the income statement. And you'll recall there's two different ways to prepare the income statement, both of which are perfectly fine. The first way is called the multi-step. And the multi-step has a lot of different subtotals or categories that we classify our revenues and expenses by. The other method is called the single step. And the single step just lumps all our revenues together, um, and totals them up, lumps all of our expenses together, totals them up, takes the difference to find net income. But let's take a look at the multi-step. The multi-step starts and it has net sales. Net sales are what you sell uh, in your business. In other words, what you've stuck price tags on. So we total up what our net sales are. We then subtract our cost of goods sold. In other words, how much did it cost you to produce the uh, goods and services that you sold? That gives me then a subtotal known as gross margin or gross profit. We then subtract expenses that pertain to our selling activities, our general activities, and our administrative activities to come up with a subtotal known as operating income. And that's the business that you run day to day. But you may also have some other revenues and expenses. Usually this has to do with interest. So we'll add our other revenues, we'll subtract our other expenses to come up with a subtotal known as net income before taxes. We'll then subtract our taxes to come up with net income. So as you can see our categories are kind of broad. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a bunch of uh, revenue and expense accounts and we're going to classify them accordingly. So are you ready? Number one, sales discount. Well, we know that sales is a revenue account. So here we have a contra revenue account, meaning uh, these are the discounts that you gave to customers, sales dis a discounted sales price uh, to our customers. So that's a revenue account. What do you think cost of goods sold is? I bet cost of goods sold is cost of goods sold. I think that's right. Now, dividend income. Dividend income says that you own stock in other businesses and those other businesses' stock paid a dividend. So you received dividend income. Now, is that part of your normal business or is that other? So this is other revenue. Advertising expense. Why are you... Uh, Incurring advertising expense? Well, it's a selling expense, isn't it? Office salaries expense? That's administrative in general. So I'm going to call it add and G, administrative in general. Freight out is another way to say that you offered your customers free shipping. So if freight out is free shipping to our customers, that would be a selling expense because that's an incentive, a selling ex incentive, to make the customers want to buy from us. Prepaid insurance, that's an asset. That doesn't go on the income statement. What about utilities expense? Utilities expense, again, is administrative and general because um, you get your utility bill to pay for your office um, and things like that. Uh, it could also be a selling expense if you pay the utilities on the sales offices. So administrative in general or selling as well. What about sales salaries expense? I bet that's a selling expense. What about rent expense? Well, rent expense is general and administrative unless you're paying rent on your sales offices or on your uh, salesman's cars, leasing your cars. So then it would be a selling expense. Depreciation expense? Well, depreciation expense is generally a general and administrative. Unless what? You're paying depreciation on the salesman's cars and then it's a selling expense. Taxes payable. Ta oh, that's a liability. That doesn't go on the income statement. And finally, interest expense. Interest expense is an other revenue or expense.